Hey guys, welcome back to Math Deciphered. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to extract data from a file using Python. So we have this file called students.txt, and it contains several data instances. So we have the student status, the last name, first name, and the graduation year for several students. So now our goal is to write a script that stores every student whose grad year is 2026 in an array with the format first name, last name. So now let's see how we can do it. So our first step is to initialize an empty list. This will be the list which we append the student names who fit the criteria into later on. Then we open the file students.students.txt using this syntax right here. So with open students.txt comma r as file, and then we read all the lines from the file. So we do lines equals file dot read lines. So now to see what these two lines of code, lines 10 and 11 have done, let's run this. So you can see that we have lines here. This is how it looks. So we know that lines is a list with seven elements and it has seven strings in it. And let's go back to students.txt to see what has happened. You can clearly see that the seven strings are each string is one line of the file. So we have seven different strings for seven different lines. So now we know that this right here has converted the file into a list of several strings with each string representing a line. So now our next step is to iterate through each line in the list of lines. So for line in lines, so that, that so this what this statement does is it loops through every st single string in the list. Then we do parts equals line dot strip dot split. So now let's see what this line does. So what strip does the strip function, it removes the front and back white spaces. So like the white spaces before the word in the string and the white spaces after it. So now what split does is the split function separates each line into a list of strings and it splits it based on the white space. So if you don't enter anything in this right here, then it would split it based off the white space. So now this might still be confusing. So let me print out line and then print out parts to see the difference. So let's see what's happened. So I'm, I'm going to run it and we can clearly see that so this is line. This is before the strip and split function and this is after. So we can clearly see that it split it. It's converted this line into a list of strings and each string is separated based off the blank space. So you can see that there's blank space between each word. So that's how these two functions work. So now let me delete these two lines as they were just meant to show you guys how it works. So now our next step now is to check if, it repre if the line represents a student entry with the graduation year of 2026. So we can do if len parts equal to equal to four and parts of zero is equal to student because we want it to be a student. Let's just add this condition in case there are other instances as well where it's not a student in the line. And then parts of three is 2026. So now let's see what this does. So we parts of zero is student. So what that does is let's look at parts here in the variable explorer. Parts of zero is essentially this right here, the first word in each line. And that has to be student. So that's what parts of zero equals student does. And parts of three is 2026. So zero, one, two, three. So the graduation year has to be 2026. So that's what this if statement does. So now all we have to do now is extract the first and last name of the student. So first name, we 
make that parts of two. And then last name is parts of one. And then finally, our last step is to append it into the students 2026 list. Students 2026 dot append. We write an F string. Let's add a space there for clarity. And then we do first name and then last name. So that should work our code. So let's just see what's wrong here. Equal to equal to. Okay. So now our final step is to print out students 2026. So let's see if our code works. So now it's printed out these three names in the list. Alice Johnson, Michael Brown, and Jane Doe. So let's go back to students.txt to see if these three students have a grad year of 2026. So we can see that the grad year is 2026 for all three students. So now we've successfully extracted data from a file and figured out which student has a grad year in 2026. Thank you and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all.